I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on applications of exponential and logarithmic functions. Now we'll work with two word problems here. Both of them have one thing in common and that is we have an exponential equation where we need to find the time which is in the exponent. Now that is a very critical question which at times students find difficult to answer. The strategy is definitely to take logarithms and then solve these equations. We'll learn this technique in the video with the help of two related examples. The question here is, the weight WT in grams of bacteria in a culture T hours after establishment is given by WT equals to, means weight at time T, is equal to 20 e to the power of 0 0.1 t. Find the time for the weight of the culture to reach 50 grams. Now almost the same question except for instead of e we have some other number. The question now becomes something like this which is the weight w of t in grams of bacteria in a culture t hours after establishment is given by weight at any instance of time t equals to 20 within brackets 2 to the power of 0 0.1515 t. Find the time for the weight of the culture to reach 100 grams. Now let's solve this question and then we'll take the first one later. Concept is similar. Now, let's begin with the equation given to us, which is weight at any instance of time t, where t will be greater than or equal to 0, is equal to 20 to, to the power of 0 0.15 t. So normally, we'll take t as greater than or equal to 0. To understand this equation better, if t is 0, exponent here will get 0 so 2 to the power of 0 will be 1 so the initial mass is 20 grams correct so that is what you gather from here which is initial mass is I should say plus the weight of the petri dish is 20 grams to start with right so this is when t equals to 0 the question is Find the time for the weight of the culture to reach 100 grams. So, basically we need to find this time t when the weight becomes 100 grams. So, 100 equals to 20 times 2 to the power of 0 0.15 t. How do we solve for this t which is in the exponent? That is the question. Okay. Let us see how to do it. So, the first step should be we should divide by 20, right? So, we get... 100 divided by 20 equals to 2 to the power of 0 0.15 t. So we get this as 5 equals to 2 to the power of 0 0.15 t. Now how do we find t? Well at this stage we need to take log on both the sides. So, so now the step is take logarithms, right, log on both sides. So when you take logarithms on both sides, what happens? We get log of 5, which is a number, right? equals to log of 2 to the power of 0 0.15 t. Now using the properties of log, we could now write this as log of 5 equals to 0 0.15 t log 2. So do you see that? We have kind of isolated t. Now let's take it to the right side and solve for t. So I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. So what we have here is log of 5, which is a number, equals to 0 0.15 times t log of 2, which is another number. So we cannot divide by log of 2. So we get log of 5 divided by log of 2 equals to 0 0.15 t. 
So T is what? So T can be written as 1 over 0 0.15 times this ratio of log of 5 over log of 2. Clear? So these logs which we have taken is to the base 10. The idea is on our calculator we have natural log ln which we should use when we have E in question and the log log with the base 10 when E is not the base. Perfect. Well, ln can be used either way, but the idea is using one of these since the calculator can help you calculate the value. So now let's find this ratio. We have log of 5, right, divided by log of 2. So this gives you some value. We'll divide this value by 0 0.15, 0 0.15 to get our answer, which in this case is 15.15. Four, let's write this as 4, 8, right? Now the time is in hours, so in so many hours. 0 0.48 should be written in minutes, right? So when we have 0.48 hours, right, we should write this in minutes. So you could write so many hours or we could write this as time is 15 hours and how many minutes? 0 0.48 times 60 minutes. Correct. So we could write like this also. So let me multiply 0 0.48 by 60. And what we get here in decimals is around 29 minutes. Right. So so we could write this as time is equals to 15 hours and 29 minutes. Is that clear to you? So these are the steps involved to solve such questions. So the idea is take logarithms on both the sides after you simplify your equation, correct? So you get only the exponential form, then take log and use your calculator to solve it. Perfect. Now let's do the other question. So I hope you have understood all these steps. Now I'd like you to actually pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's again begin with the equation, which is the weight of the culture is given to us as equal to 20 e to the power of 0 0.1 t. So first step is we need to find the time when the culture reaches 50 grams, right? So we'll write W t as 50 grams. So 50 equals to 20 times e to the power of 0 0.1 t. Let's divide by 20. So you get 50 over 20 equals to e to the power of 0 0.1 t, right? So which is 2.5, right? So this cancels. 2.5 equals to e to the power of 0 0.1 t. Now to solve, what should we do? So whenever you're working with e, take natural law, right? So ln on both sides. Correct? Ln. So, so we get ln natural log which is to the base E of 2.5 equals to 0 0.1 t ln E. Now when you, ln and E are inverse of one another so, so we know that okay let's take it on this side and then further do it right. So we have this equation now ln 2.5 equals to 0 0.1 t ln e. Now ln e is inverse of one another, right? So that is basically 1. We know that ln e equals to 1, right? And therefore we get this step, kind of like times 1, okay? So this is your ln 2.5. So what is t equals to? So from here, we can say ln 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is t. So let's find this value. So natural log ln 2.5 equals to, we'll divide this by 0 0.1, is equal to 9.16 equals to t. So time again is in hours, right? So we get we get t equals to 9 hours and how many minutes? We'll do 16 times 60 minutes, okay? That's a good idea. So write in minutes, hours and minutes. 
so uh, I should say 0 0.169 so 0 0.169 60 in decimals is 9.6 right so about 9 so we get t equals to 9 hours and around 9 minutes well if more accuracy is required you can convert that 0 0.6 to seconds also perfect anyway so that is our answer I hope you understand and appreciate that when you have to find the time, which is normally in the exponent of an exponential equation, you will need to use logarithms on both the sides to solve for. So that is the key. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.